One of the questions I'm asked quite a lot is uh, about gray balance and kind of when to do it, how you do it and so on. And I've made um, many films over the years kind of looking at specific products on kind of either correcting the color balance on camera, which I'd obviously try and recommend because then it looks so much better, um, or doing that quick fix across a mul multiple images uh, in the likes of uh, Lightroom or in Camera Raw. There's different products, uh, one which is kind of often referred to as a passport, which has multi-colors, but they have blacks, whites, and grays, which is the main thing for us to set color balance. That kind of passport as well will often have a gray section of the card, which you usually use to uh, kind of place within a photograph and then just use as a click. Or you're kind of seeing uh, an image like we are here, where basically it's uh, used to preset uh, the balance uh, across all the images and things really. So um, if we're working on multiple photographs, one of the key things is to make sure that we're able to work efficiently and kind of work kind of wise. So if we didn't have a gray card, we would look at an image uh, like we've got here, which is basically being shot with daylight and with room lighting. And you would kind of wonder where you're actually gonna click balance from. And I think that's one of the most difficult things to uh, get used to doing when you're first getting started in the likes of color balancing. You know, the modern day DSLR or mirrorless is going to do so, so good at color balance that it almost feels like at times we're wasting those few minutes or sec seconds to shoot a gray, a gray card. Um, however, um, if we want to set a particular color and a t particular look, that's really what we're kind of trying to achieve. So if I kind of, first of all, just select all of these images in the likes of, uh, I'm just in Bridge here, which are part of Photoshop and Lightroom and so on. And I bring them into the develop mod, uh, the module known as Adobe Camera, Camera Raw, or if you're in Lightroom, you would enter into the develop module anyway. So if I just go into um, File, Open in Camera Raw, um, it's going to kind of load all of these raw files, and it'll work with JPEG files as well, of course, but it'll load all of these files into thumbnails running down the left-hand side. Um, or across the bottom, depends on how you've got it set up. And then what I've got here, because the first image is the gray card, um, I could select all of these photographs, come into the basic module here and grab the white balance tool and then click somewhere within the image that will neutralize any color balance towards gray. Now, because uh, color is so personal, really what we're doing with a gray card is neutralizing color. So we're actually saying, look, we know this is a set color balance of say 18% gray, what pretty much everything is based around. Um, if I'm lighting this um, uh, panel, uh, reflector or kind of passport card, uh, with the light quality that the subject is going to be lit with, then I should be able to click balance within the gray and basically I've fixed it straight, straight away. But just to kind of uh, prove a point within here, um, this has neutral gray running from the left corner through to a artificial uh, color in the top right hand side. This is because the top right hand side is being lit by a lamp where, and you can see how it instantly turns everything kind of blue and cold. Whereas the bottom is being lit by daylight, which it neutralizes the color. So when I'm working in this kind of scenario where there is a true mix of color going throughout, I've got to decide on what I'm actually color balancing for. If I'm in doubt, I'll shoot the gray card like we are here now, and I'll basically set this as a custom color balance on camera. By doing that, it basically then allows me to continue the shoot, not worry about the color balance or change, change until I move location or the lighting is going to change within a scene. Now, if I was using the likes of flash or if I was using the likes of um, all day, a daylight quality and or a set color balance, um, even LEDs and so on with it, we, we can kind of set all those images to color balance in the same way. But what we're looking to do is actually, okay, so what happens when 
I've taken photographs, I don't like the color balance, how am I trying to actually fix that color? So as, as I was saying to you, if I select all these images, control A, all the, th the thumbnails here, and I say color balance for the daylight, which is down on the left hand side here, and you should be able to see on your screen the warmth in the top right and the coldness down on the bottom left. So if I kind of click in towards the middle, you see the majority of this card is neutralized in a normal gray. One of the great things about Lightroom and Bridge and Camera Raw and Photoshop itself is that you're going to see pretty much all the tools are in gray. And this is to stop the color of the eye shifting towards a color. So if we had lots of images with bright pink on the left hand side and they were much bigger, um, if we were to make the kind of the thumbnails much bigger, you might kind of get distracted with coloring and it starts to kind of get absorbed into the brain. And then all of a sudden the brain counteracts the color and it starts to try and fix it for you. And that's what we're trying to do here is we're trying to have a technique that will work every time. So in other words, we've selected all the images, we've clicked onto the photographs. It means now if I was to select the images, there's a neutralized look. Now, if we look at the white of the dress here, um, in the majority of these images, you can see it's neutralized fully. But because the face is being lit by the lamp, there's a warmth here to the actual face. And this is going back to, let's just select um, uh, two of these images, let's say, yeah. Now, if we kind of select the warm of the gray balance on the top right hand side of the gray card, okay, it really corrects the warmth on this side of the face alone. That's all it's doing. On the left-hand side side of the face, it's corrected the color balance because this is the part that is being lit by the lamp. Exactly the same here. Um, of course, when we look at the difference between these kind of two images, you can see that one is extreme cold and one is extreme warm what is correct okay so we're either going to correct for skin tone or we're going to correct for uh, color balance overall so are we going to correct for the dress so if we click onto this one here if we don't use the gray card at all for a minute i could say okay well i've got something white gray within the image so in other words white with d with d detail if i click onto it it will basically make that color change and if we look on the temperature gauge and the tint level here, you'll see as I click around the different parts of the image, it's changing the color balance and it's also changing the temperature and the tint as we go along. So when we're lucky enough that we've got a subject in a clothing that we can basically use to start to correct color, we can click around the photograph and try and find somewhere which is a neutral. But this image is a very difficult one because we've got mixed color balance. And that is why, as a rule of thumb, this gray card, as shot, so in other words, if we look at it as shot here, it has this gray warmth to it overall because it's got daylight and tungsten balance mix. It means when all of these photographs below we're trying to correct them all together in a neutralized way. We're saying we're gonna neutralize the mid gray and then across all of these images, let's select them and just make that correction. What we're actually doing is the bottom half of the figure, in other words, um, the subject's body in the dress is the part that is being neutralized in color. However, as we get closer into the subject, we can see the warmth here. And this is where it kind of gets a little bit confused, fusing. But what I would do is encourage you to, when you start to kind of work with a, a certain selection of images, you go, okay, I need to choose a different kind of white point within the image to neutralize it. Now I can either use the clicker, like I show to you, or I can use the temperature slider to move the color balance to try and find where we want uh, we want it to be. But this image specifically is a difficult one, and it's one that kind of really exaggerates how complicated at times color balancing could be. Are we color balancing for the dress, or are we color balancing for the face? There's a, a kind of a rule of thumb of what you've got to do in, in kind of portraiture is that you want to bring, if possible, some neutral light, some consistent light, the same temperature of light 
to light the main part of the face and the body because as a rule in portraiture we're trying to actually give a more pleasing skin tone than we are exag exaggerated one forget about the exposure forget about the shadow what we're on about here is pure color balance so if we go back to the um the gray card here and this particular shoe what i'd recommend you to do is as i said instead of just um doing the correction like I'm doing here in the post-production where we're picking our gray color. Yes, we're actually going to photograph this gray card on camera and we're gonna set the custom color balance on camera. Um, and then basically if we need to tweak the colors at all following the shoot in the likes of RAW, we can then go in and do that with it. So would I use a gray card in each shoot? Yeah, do you know why? It takes seconds and I've got a choice whether to custom balance on camera or custom balance in the post-production, whatever I use. We, you can even print out uh, a piece of um, paper with grey on it and basically you'd be able to custom balance from that if you held it in the way of the client. But if you're in a commercial sense, you are better actually buy and sub something that has been set with a specific colour balance to guarantee the colour.